Gaffer, lots of, action, lots of action tonight, the right result. What's your assessment of the game? Probably what you just said, Johnny, really. Lots of action. Um, I think the, the, the first goal when we go 1-0 down was against a run of play. I think we started the game well. I think that gave them a leg up. Then we started getting a little bit... Um, a little bit uptight with the ball rather than relaxing a little bit. Um, I think the goal before our half-time helped, helped me at half-time in speaking to them, helped them coming in with a different frame of, frame of mind that they would have had if they'd have gone a goal down. So, gone in a goal down. So, you know, we, this, this competition, uh, you know, as I've been saying, I said in the dressing room and I'll say back out to the guys out here and I'll say it to you guys, Someone will get knocked out tonight that you would have never seen come in. That, that will happen. Someone will get knocked out. And you just hope it's not you, really, because these games are so, so difficult. And um, they started the season off very well. Ours is not so good in terms of results. Um, so the, the quicker you get a win under your belt, the better. For the lads, for their confidence, for how they feel today, for how they feel tomorrow. Um, so uh, it, it was important for us to get that win tonight um, for the players. For the players, they, they needed it as a group of people. Whilst the fans obviously want it, we all want it, but for a group, th they needed it. So it was good to get that. Got that first win. The first goal came from Luke Lee. He's captain, leading by example. What a free kick to start it all off. Yeah, great free kick by Luke. Um, really pleased with that. I think that um, it was... It was typical of Luke. He's a great technician, and in those areas, you know, it's, you know, he really is first class. And it, we speak about those free kicks a lot. And if the wall's not right, like the ball, the wall has to be right. If the wall's not right, he'll score. So yeah, we were pleased when that went in, um, and like I said, it helped with half time then. Danu Doe as well. He's recently come back from an injury. Didn't take him long to get firing again. How pleased for you? Up, oh, sorry. How pleased are you to see him get that goal after seeing all the hard work he's put in to get yeah, fit again? No, I, I am pleased for him. I mean, he's been through a lot. He has. The physios have. It's been lots of hard work um, behind the scenes by all of them. Um, not just Dan trying to come back. The physios have worked extremely hard to try and get him back out on the field, but it's been really, really frustrating getting him up to speed. I don't think Dan tonight was sharp, but I didn't expect him to be. But what he's done is he's got a good, um, he's got a good base in tonight's game that will help him going forward now. So hopefully, in touch wood, that's the end of that issue with him. Um, and he can push on now and get his sharpness and, and keep it in the back of the net. And then Shay Dunkley gets what's pr what proves to be the winner. Yeah. His influence on your squad continues. It, Shay's a good lad. He's come in, he's fitted in really, really well. I'm really, really pleased with Shay. Um, and how he is, how he is as a lad around the group, you know, he's a leader, he's a driving force, you know, he would have been one of those people that I spoke about, would have been a candidate for being captain. Um, but I think sometimes players that just come through the door, I don't think it's a good idea you giving them the captaincy because I think we already had quite a few leaders already in here that know the club. And I just think it's better that Shea comes in and be the le and, and is the leader, sorry, that that he he is, but just in his own right. And I think he's done that tonight. I think he'll be a bit disappointed with a second goal. Um, so I'm sure the goal made up for that a little bit. But knowing him, as honest as he is, he'll be more disappointed with a second goal than he'll be pleased with scoring that goal. On Raquel Pike, he came back from his loan spell, had pre-season and played well tonight in two different positions. Yeah. Firstly, how would you sum up his pre-season leading up to today and then also his performance tonight? Well, his pre-season leading up today started when he left Scunthorpe at the end of last season. He would have had two weeks rest like all the players do on total shutdown. Um, then he would have had um, a summer programme where he would have had to complete 18 sessions. That's what they would have had to complete throughout the summer. Um, he completed every single one of those um, and it's benefited him no end being here and I think the loan that he had last season didn't benefit him at all but he's a lovely lad Ricky I really like him um, but I think last season the loan I'm, I'm not sure that benefited him really when you look at 
the stats from his loan, you know, he would have got. He probably would have had more games here if he'd stayed here. But that's another story. I always wanted to mention Charlie Caton. Some minutes for him. How do you think he did tonight? Great, great. Yeah, I think I think Tom Bloxham um, tried very hard without too much luck in the first half. Um, I think Charlie Caton, when he went on, um, did very well. I think it's all about the development and the right times, uh, and hopefully we'll see more of those lads certainly in and around the squad but but more importantly when we play the Papa John's games then I want to put the youngsters out there I think it's a great development opportunity for the club for us to look at those young players in those games I, I you know I really want to do that and then finally you mentioned Aidan O'Brien saw a specialist recently yeah. how did that go well, hopefully it went well, Johnny. He's had a he's had a steroid injection. He's probably seen the top guy, I would say, in in the UK. Um, down in London the other day, we're just fingers crossed on it um, that the injection has got the right spot, and he settles down. He's got four days off feet. Now, that doesn't mean he's got to put his feet up. It just means off feet, off the grass. It means he can't really do anything because he's got to settle down, and hopefully that injection has got the precise point and works on what Aidan's feeling and then it's about getting his fitness levels up and how how do we do that um, and try and get him involved at the same time will be the bits where you know I'm sure we'll have meetings Chris Worley the fitness coach um, Dan Sanders the weights coach um, uh, Greg uh, sports therapists, Dan Green, the physio, myself, the staff, because we've got to have a plan for Aiden to get him back. Because if we smash him, he might break down again, and we can't, we can't do that. So we've got to be very, very careful and try and get a measured plan for him. If everything settles down right, hopefully, anyway. Yeah, well, we wish him all the best. Yeah. Thank you, Gaffer. Okay.